And welcome back. We're at the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 10 to 14 today. John the Baptist in our lens today, and we listen to him. So the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said to them, He who has two tunics, let him give to him who has none. And he who has food, let him do likewise. Then the tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than what is appointed for you. Likewise, the soldiers asked him, saying, What shall we do? He So he said to them, Do not intimidate anyone or accuse falsely, and be content with your wages. You know, do not shake people down for money is the marginal reading. So here's the deal. John is preaching. He's preaching there at the Jordan River. People are coming to be baptized. Many people are being changed in the moment. Then they start coming to him and saying, Okay, let's get practical here, John. This is what I do. What should I do about it? And John tells them straight up, you know, if you have two pieces of clothing here and somebody is poor, give them one of your pieces of clothing. If you were doing tax collecting, collect the proper amount. Don't keep some for yourself. If you have food and somebody over here doesn't have food, share your food. See, it's, it's, it's actually rather simple when you boil it all down. And so John is boiling it down to them. Even the soldiers, you know, what should we do? Do no violence. Some translations say do violence to no man. And so, uh, well, that's kind of an interesting command for a soldier. But then again, you know, the soldiers are often used to enforce things that are totally, totally ludicrous and impositions on people. So interesting stuff. The Lord wants us to be faithful and do what we do. Whatever, whatever calling here we are called in, we are to do that in a Christian manner. If we can't, then we can't be in that calling. It's not a calling if it's not if it's not godly. So, friend, God will be with us. God will show us what to do. And many times the solutions are like this, very simple. Ways to be like Jesus often are very simple and often result in a very much a direct blessing to others. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the straight answers that John the Baptist is giving his hearers. We think life is so complicated and we need to have a big big convoluted plan to get to knowing what we're supposed to do. But many times it's very simple. Lord, help us to take these things to heart. If John was preaching to us, which which he was, as to them, may we respond, Lord, in the way that's suitable in our case. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you today with the preaching of John the Baptist. May it become true in your life what John was asking them to do. He's asking you to do also.